All right, Shalom, giving all glorification, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasam, Yahweh Sai, Bahasam, or Kakwadas. Yahweh is the only true and powerful name of who the world ignorantly refers to as God. Okay, and Yahweh Shai, all right, is the only true and powerful name of the Messiah, the one the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ. Their true names in the Paleo Hebrew tongue are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right, Rakakwadas, that's the Holy Spirit. All right, double honors as always going out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the bishops and Sequanyam who rule and teach the church well because that's what they do. And I want to say citation to you, Akim, out there push, pushing this word, Salaki, on the four corners of the earth. All right, on the highways and hedges. All right, those of you preaching, teaching, and prophesying the right way. Okay, on well, down to all those among Israel who have believed our report of men, women, and children, believers, the friends and helps of the prophets. They too are going to be redeemed, all right, delivered out of this coming destruction. All right, and that's what's coming. All right, first and foremost to America, okay, where we are over here in uh, this uh, land called America, which is really, well, she goes by many, she has many names. All right, the virgin daughter of Babylon, uh, you know, the mother of harlots. Okay, all right. America is going to be thoroughly and completely destroyed, even with a sore destruction, okay? And other parts of this earth are going to, you know, uh, be hit with the intercontinental ballistic missiles, the ICBMs. All right, the so-called Israeli state, that land has to be, you know, purged, you know, all the filth because it's been trodden down most recently by them Amalekites. All right, the ones who are saying they, they Jews, but they're not. The, the liars, the... The frauds, the, <laughs> the bastards who, who dwell in Ashdod to this very day, all right? Zechariah, that's Zechariah, the ninth chapter in the sixth verse. All right. Um, I, today is, uh, I'm laughing because I'm having, uh, this past year has gone by so fast. And the Lord promised his elect, okay, it's in the scriptures. Out of the mouth of Yahweh himself, you know, he, he said he was going to shorten up the days for the elect's sake. I cannot keep track <laughs> keep track of the days, man. It's Monday, all right, June, what is it, June the 26th? Hold on. Yeah, Monday, June the 26th, okay. <laughs> I do know what year it is, all right, 2023, the hopeful year, all right, that all these prophecies come to pass, as dubbed through the power and spirit of Yahweh by the elder apostle Tahar. Okay, yeah, the whole full year that all these prophecies come to pass. And um, I was just reading something. Uh, I was in the, the YouTube uh, feed a little while ago. And um, I saw, saw a brother post this article. And uh, forgive me because I don't know what channel I was on. But uh, he put up a post going into this thing going on over there in the UK. All right, Great Britain. All right, who's known as the the, the, the the mother of Babylon, you know, because America was birthed out of, uh, well, three countries, really, Spain, France, and Britain, but primarily, you know, Britain, all right, she's referred to as the mother of Babylon, and uh, she's going she's gonna to watch, she's going to watch her daughter take it, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's get that scripture before I get into this article. Really going into the plagues, and again, this plague right here hit in the UK. Okay, stuff like this is 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 coming over here, man. All right, um, this is off of Birmingham Mail. Co. Uk warning of Dracula horsefly invasion. All right, when most people get bitten and what to do. All right, so basically, you got these killer horseflies that uh are invading the UK. And you know what? There's a lot of elect men and women over there. Uh, so, you know, more, you know, more so. Um, you know, there's more men, you know, believers over there. I'm sure than women. But anyways, there's men, women, and children who believe the gospel of Yahweh Shai. And you know what? The Lord is going to protect them from these plagues. All right, this specific plague. All right. Um, the Lord is going to protect His elect. You know, all throughout the four corners of the earth. 
all right, from plagues in general, okay? Yeah, so see, that's what he's promised to do, man. And we trust and believe and have confidence in these promises, right? As the hopeful elect, as the men doing the work, that the Lord's going to, you know, you know, preserve and keep his, his first and foremost, his men. Anyway, I'm going to get into this, but I wanted to get where uh, it goes into, um, and I just, Jeremiah uh, 50, I'm pretty sure. Where it says her, her mother will be sore confounded. You know, Great Britain. All right, the UK is going to see, the, you know, her daughter again be destroyed, man, during this Third World War. It might be Jeremiah 51, but we'll, we'll see if I can find it. Maybe it's further up in the chapter. Yeah, here we go. So like you, forgive me. I knew it was in either Jeremiah 50 or 51. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse uh, 12, getting right to the point. Your mother shall be sore confounded. Right. Your mother shall be sore confounded. Speaking of uh, Great Britain, okay, it says, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations that it's talking about here, all right, America. All right, America is known as the hindermost of the nations. It says, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Okay, verse 13. Because of the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. You have seen the Most High coming to pour out his wrath on this place, man. You know, he's going to send Yahweh Shai and a great big fathership, which the world refers to as UAP, all right, or UFOs, all right. Angels is coming. All right. And angels are gonna be taking, you know, they're gonna be they're gonna be blasting this place with laser beams, setting shit on fire right along with them arrows that the Lord's sending, man, them icy beam. All right. He's coming to pour out his wrath on Esau. All right, America, the two thirds over here in America, the unbelievers, all right, those who have rejected the gospel of Ahau Bashmi All right, and the heathen that are over here. All right, it says, um, it says, because of the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. <laughs> Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Right, man. And again, that ultimate plague, you know, being the, uh, being the, being those sores, man, those ICBMs. All right. Um, so let's, let's get into this real quick. Warning over fanged Dracula horseflies that can bite right through clothes. <laughs> and again, this was put up uh, yesterday. Okay, so this was put up, you know, 24 hours ago. And see, the plagues are hitting other parts of this earth too, not just Babylon. Although they're going to be the most severe here. But the Lord is sending plagues all throughout this earth, man. Drying up the rivers. Okay. He's, uh, he's, he's, the, the crops are failing. Okay. Um, you know, Esau is doing a lot of damage with his, with his technology, you know, his, um, with his depopulation agenda, you know, slaughtering livestock and doing all kinds of wickedness too. But the Lord is sending these plagues, you know, all throughout the earth. Okay. It's part of his judgment, man. This is the, <laughs> hey, and much worse, you know, uh, plagues are coming. Okay, best believe it over here to Babylon the Great. All right. So let's see which 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 <laughs> which publication do I want to read from? <laughs> Dracula horsefly, the horsefly invasion. Let's see what this says. All right, it says, warning over Dracula horse flies that can bite through clothes and rip and tear flesh apart. It's kind of like the plagues that, you know, the Lord, you know, sent on them uh, ancient so-called uh, Egyptians, man, them Hamites, you know, back during the ancient world. You know, you can read about those 
those plagues, okay, in Exodus chapters 9 through 11. You know, the flies, that was one of the plagues. All right, it says, warning over Dracula horse flies that can bite through clothes and rip and tear flesh apart. Okay, it says, <laughs> sunbathers have been warned over Dracula horse flies that can bite right through clothes and rip and tear flesh apart. <laughs> <laughs> says as, as the scorching weather continues with the, with the odd thunderstorm thrown in a new flying menace has emerged for the summer one that can do real damage the Lord's going to do a lot of damage to this earth man okay it says hordes of the fanged horseflies are being reported across the country and in a further blow they are said to be immune to insect repellents a cocktail of hot weather and sudden downpours is providing the perfect environment for the silent bloodsuckers to mate in record numbers, reports the Daily Star. Their fangs can leave victims with skin infections, inclu including cellulitis, that require hospital treatment. At worst, they can send allergy sufferers into potentially fatal anaphylactic shock. Damn. Damn. Let's get another scripture because, like I mentioned earlier, you know, the Lord can protect his, will um, protect his elect. All right. Now, the bulk of the elect is over here in America, okay, in Babylon the Great. But there's elect all throughout this earth, man, on all the continents, okay. And, and you know, and, and especially, you know, in the UK over there, Scotland, uh, Britain, okay, Ar Ireland. We know the history. So-called Negroes, all right, the Moors, all right, who were the Judites, according to the Bible, the head tribe of Israel, okay, they ruled Europe, you know, during the Dark Ages, you know, conquered all of it, man. That's why you have black icons all over Europe. You know, you got black icons, so-called black, in uh, in Russia, you know, before Esau whitewashed everything during the Renaissance, all right. Jake was ruling heavy. All throughout Europe, okay. All throughout Europe, okay. All you know in Russia, okay. But um, you know the Lord is gonna, the Lord is going to uh, be with His elect and protect His His elect from these plagues, man. From this, from these plagues and these pestilences, these various things that you know are being unleashed on the people. But again, by Esau, you know. But but. Ultimately, it's coming from the Lord, man. You know? Let's get another scripture. Not obtained. Let's see. Not or appointed us to wrath. Yeah, there we go. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 9. And it reads, For Yahweh hath not appointed us to wrath. Talking to his elect, man. All right. It says, But to obtain Salvation by our Lord Yahushua Masiach. Again, we understand that Jesus Christ is written there, but his true name has been revealed in these last days, man. Again, Holy Spirit has been sent down, okay, into the earth. All right. And we learned those names from the apostles of Great Millstone, man. All right. You did, yeah, a lot of you scoffers and mockers need to keep that in mind when you're doing your uh, so called uh, rebuke videos. You know what I'm talking about. Ministers of the New Covenant, but you know, there's other groups as well that ain't that ain't preaching and teaching in the correct, you know, in the names of the Lord. All right, but that's how you're going to be redeemed. You got to call. Don't the Scripture say you got to call on the name of the Lord? Yeah, of course it does. You know, and that Jesus Christ ain't going to work, man. That's a dumb idol. God ain't going to work. There be God's many and Lord's many. So you know, we say God. Which one are you talking about? Let's get something out from Joel. Going into uh, you know, calling on the day, uh, calling, calling on the name of the Lord in that day, man. During the time of Jacob's trouble, you know. Joel, uh, Joel's uh, chapter two and verse twenty-eight, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. That's clearly the time we're in right now. You know, plenty of brothers, you know, wives, children be having dreams. I had a spiritual dream the other night, as a matter of fact, about the Akiyam. 
you know, the men I used to uh, camp with. And it was a very positive dream, man. Like we was reunited, <laughs> you know. Hey, the point, the point is, is uh, even Edomites are having visions, so-called white people are having visions that, that the Lord is putting on them, you know. Terrible visions of destruction, you know, of the, of the, of the C-Hup, seeing the C-Hup being implemented, which is the MOTV, that Caragua. So this is clearly the time we're in right now. All right, so you so-called, I mentioned so-called Negroes, the head tribe of Israel, all right, Judah, all right, but you, you, you Latinos and you Native, Native Americans so-called who make up the rest of the tribe, y'all need to wake the fuck up, man, okay? Y'all need to get, y'all need to get it together, man, because, you know, when this, this Esau fixing to, um, you know, uh, hit that internet kill, uh, hit, hit that internet kill switch, you know, so to speak, because we have to go through this famine of hearing the word of y'all busting me outside. So when that, when that comes, man, you know, the men of the Lord, the prop, the real prophets of the Lord ain't going to be prophesying and teaching no more, man. Ain't going to be reproving no more. Ain't going to be prophesying and teaching. And it's going to be up, man. It's going to <laughs> That's why we always are, are, are getting on y'all, telling you you need to repent, man. Verse 29, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will see wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. That's going into the nuclear destruction. All the prophets talked about it, man. All the prophets from A to Z, you know. Shit, Enoch, the seventh from Adam, talked about the Lord coming back. You know, in the chariots, man, destroying shit. Okay, it says, uh, the sun shall return in the darkness, verse 31, and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord Yahweh come. And this shall come to pass, this is the point, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh shall be delivered, right? And it's going to tell you, oh, see, it says who, it says whosoever, yeah, but who, <laughs> he's getting ready to explain it, all right? It says, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. So deliverance is for Mount Zion. All right, first and foremost, the prophets of the Lord, 144K, and Jerusalem as, you know, being the, the, the rest of the believers, man. The men, women, women <coughs> tongue tied. The men, women, and children who believe this gospel, man. Okay, who are hearkening to the testimony of the prophets. That's who salvation, that's who deliverance that's who that's who redemption is for man not for everybody so just because you see something says whosoever or all men or everyone you know if it's pertaining to salvation you know that's, that's talking about israel that's another lesson for another time but and maybe i'll do something on that okay i'm alone you know salvation is only for the israelites you know it says for in Mount Zion and Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord Yahweh has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord Yahweh shall call. See, he said this, man. You know, Joel just wrote it down. But the Lord spoke all these things. And he used, he used holy men. You know, he used holy men, holy prophets, set apart men to write his word down, man. And so that, so that we could have it in this last time. All right. So that, so that we could have what we need. In order to obtain salvation, man. We know there's a lot more out there. But we we got, we got the 100% truth, man. What's been revealed in that book, we understand fully. 100%. We got the 100% truth, man. Again, starting at the top with the pillars of the church, man. All right? So, yeah, this is a plague. This is a pestilence, you know. And uh, don't be surprised. I mean, you know, so we know what the elites are up to, man. We know we know what these devils are up to. They got they got shit up their sleeve, you know, um, coming, you know, that uh that is gonna you know that that is gonna look like this, you know, Dracula horseflies. <laughs> All right, um, was that it? Let's see. Okay, yeah, I read that. I'll read this part again. It says, Their fangs can leave victims with skin infections, <laughs> including cellulitis that require hospital treatment. At worst, they can send allergy sufferers into potentially fatal anaphylactic shock. Some bathers, hot tub fans, and festival goers are among those facing a summer of misery from the pest. Yeah, it's going to be a miserable summer, man. It's really just started, too. You know, we just, we just, um, 
you know, here in South Carolina, you, you know, we always have really hot summers here. <clears throat> and um, it's actually been very mild here in uh, South Carolina uh, so far this year. But it, the heat's coming, man. You know, that heat, that heat wave, that heat is coming. All right. And pestilence is coming. Again, pestilence is coming to Babylon. That's a big end time indicator. That's a big end time sign. Pestilence. You know. And this would be classified as such. Okay. <laughs> Dracula. Horse flies, man. Come on. You know. Let's get that in the scriptures where he, the Lord talks about that in Matthews. Twenty-four chapter. Milk scripture. All right. Very important scriptures, man. Matthew's the twenty-four chapter. You can go into that every day, man. Second Ezra fifteen every day. Second Ezra sixteen every day. Jeremiah fifty every day. Jeremiah fifty-one every day. Isaiah thirteen every day. Isaiah thirty-four every day. Revelation seventeen every day. You get the point. You know, sounding like a broken broken record yet. That's all the men of the Lord talk about. Well, sometimes we do exhortation lessons. Yeah. Where we talk about how important it is to have faith or we, you know, we we talk about, um, you know, for example, you know, how important faith is, you know, how, how important endurance is, how important health is, you know, how health is wealth. But for the most part, man, you know, we we. We are uh, focus and key in on prophecies. We, doesn't the scriptures tell you to be occupied in prophecy? Absolutely. Matthew chapter 24, and I'm going to wrap it up. It's just meant to be a quick video. All right. Um, going into this article, I found, you know, it's like, damn. You know, the most high is, is terrible, man. He's a terrible power. If he ain't on your side, boy. Oof. Damn. Anyway, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars. And rumors of wars, that's all you hear about in the news, that Babylon and China are going to war, Babylon and Russia. Well, actually, America is at war with Russia. All right, they're using that, their proxy, Ukraine. But yeah, America's already got troops over there fighting. Anyway, America's going to war with Iran, you know, et cetera, et cetera, man. Wars and rumors of war, reports. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So these things aren't troubling to us. This is just part of the story. It's part of his story. Okay, this is his story being told through the mouth, <laughs> through the mouths, all right, plural of the prophets. All right. It says, For nation shall rise against for nation shall rise against nation and king, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. Okay. Dracula like horse flies that can bite through clothes and tear your flesh apart. Right, that's a pestilence, man. That's a plague. It's a pestilence. It says, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. That's where we are in the timeline, man. The beginning of sorrows in the very early stages of Jacob's trouble. Okay. Um, let's, let's, you know, since I mentioned second Ezra 15, let's just bring it out. And then I'll wrap it up. Second Ezra is the fifteenth chapter. In verse ten. Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse ten. Behold, my people was led as a flock to the slaughter. And a lot of you are being led, man. They're re led right 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 in, right to the slaughter. Okay? Again, two thirds of our people over here in America ain't gonna make it. All right, that's the judgment written in Zechariah the 13th chapter. All right, it says, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. This is talking about spiritual Egypt, okay, a.k.a. America. All right, it says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. Okay, that's talking about Yahweh Shai. That's how deliverance is going to be accomplished, all right, through the Messiah, the Savior, okay. Yahweh Shai means he saves or he delivers. Most high ain't going to come down off his throne. He's sending his only begotten son to do the job. He's fixing the he's fixing the call up call for that to go down, man. He's fixing to send that order to his right hand. Okay, it says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues. All right, and, I, and again, I know this is 
going into something that's happening in Great Britain, but uh, this this is coming to America, even more even more severe. Okay, it says um, <laughs> and smite Egypt with plagues as before, showing you this is talking about a different Egypt, not the one Moses was in. Okay, this was writ written uh, down well after. All right, uh, way after the destruction of, that occurred in ancient Egypt. It's talking about America, man. But you got to have a spiritual eye to see it. All right, and you have to have a spiritual ear to hear it. And will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, verse 12, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. That's right, man. So, yeah, I thought, I just thought that was kind of crazy, man. And, uh, but yeah, major pestilence, major plagues, you know, prior to the, the final and biggest plague. All right. Those things are coming uh, to America hot and heavy. So get ready. It's going to be a long, hot summer. <laughs> Lord willing, you was edified through the spirit. With that, I don't want to say shallow.